I've been with the KC46 program since 2006. Today, Paul Weaver got to fly the virtual version of the aircraft he's been working on for the past seven years. Flying the airplane was, was uh, a, a big eye-opener. Numbers on a piece of paper are one thing, but actually seeing the aircraft roll and pitch and feel how it responds to pilot input is quite another. Paul works in the KC-46A Tanker Directorate at Wright-Patterson Air Force Base. The base is where the aircraft of tomorrow are conceived, developed, and acquired. Flying an aircraft that doesn't physically exist yet is impossible. So Boeing brought a KC-46A simulator to the base for a test flight. So now you're in contact. I think it's fun coming out here and, and, and looking at this stuff, uh, seeing it, flying it, just kind of getting an idea of, of the technology that this airplane is going to bring to the Air Force as far as the boom operators and the different technologies for the pilots, and it's going to result in, a, in an awesome airplane. The KC-46A tanker program reached a milestone on August 21st. The Air Force officially closed the critical design review a month ahead of schedule, and that allows the program to move into the manufacturing and development phase. The airplane's coming together out in uh, Everett. Matter of fact, I was out in the, uh, in the factory about uh, two weeks ago today uh, and looking at the, uh, the first of the tankers starting to come through, so it's an exciting time. Boeing is scheduled to deliver 18 combat-ready KC-46A tankers in 2017, but for Paul Weaver, today was not about the future. It was the chance to reflect on his years of work. It was quite rewarding. I, I enjoyed it a lot. Reporting from Wright-Patterson Air Force Base, I'm Matthew Klaus.